Good afternoon and welcome to the next video in the Ahargana series. In the last video, we had pretty much completed all the nine manas defined in Surya Siddhanta. We closed with Guru Mana, specifically Samvatsara. So there is nothing more left from a calendric perspective. But there is one calendric element that we use very often today, which I have not covered at all so far. And that is nothing but the day of the week or vara. So why did I not cover vara so far? The primary reason is that the vara is not included by the Surya Siddhanta in any of the nine manas. It's simply not there. In fact, the Surya Siddhanta does not even recognize the vara as a calendric element. But it does talk about, not exactly vara, but it talks about something called ruler of the day. In fact, it talks about ruler of the hour, ruler of the day, ruler of the month, ruler of the year. Of which this ruler of the day is what we are today calling as vara. <clears throat> so what are these rulers? The rulers are nothing but grahas. So the Surya Siddhanta gives a formula. It doesn't actually define anything. It gives a formula saying given a particular day, this is the formula for calculating who is the ruler of that day, who is the ruler of the month to which the day belongs and which graha is the ruler of the year to which that day belongs. And working backwards from the formula, it is possible to understand a structure which the Surya Siddhanta is using. And this structure is completely outside the nine manas of time. So there is very little astronomy in this structure. And it is not part of the nine manas, any of the nine manas of time, still because we use vara, for completeness sake, I will cover this structure about the vara in this episode. <clears throat> so the fundamental idea is that Surya Siddhanta is saying that uh, even before it gets down to a day, it says that first of all, there is a subdivision of a day called an hour. Now this itself is new to us because so far we have seen Nadi, Vinadi and Prana are the subdivisions of a day. And Nadi, Vinadi and Prana have very strong astronomical definitions and we have done a lot of discussion on that. But in this context of Vara, Surya Siddhanta talks about something called Hora. Hora is the Sanskrit equivalent of the word hour. And there are 24 Horas in a day, exactly like in the modern timekeeping. So I am showing you that in a chart here. On this axis, I am showing you 1 to 24. These are the hours. And I am showing you 7 days. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 days here on the rows. Now the Surya Siddhanta says that uh, for each hour, there is a graha which is assigned as the ruler of that hour. The Sanskrit word they use in Surya Siddhanta is Horesha which stands for Hora Ishvara. So there is a Horesha for each Hora. And it has used out of all the Grahas, only seven Grahas, not all the nine. The Sapta Graha it has used because the seven are the physical Grahas. Rahu and Ketu have been excluded. And the Grahas have been laid out in a particular order, starting from Shani down to the moon, Soma. Shani, Guru, Mangala, Ravi, Shukra, Buddha, Soma. And what is this sequence? Where is this order coming from? We have already seen this here. This model is familiar to all of us. We have discussed this where we have uh, seen the various planets and the order in which the planets are arranged. Specifically, they are arranged in a sequence of sidereal orbital period. The slowest orbit, the slowest moving is Shani, that's why it's called Shanai Chara. And the fastest is Chandra. In 27.3 days, he completes an orbit. So that is the sequence in which they have been laid out from Shani 
to Chandra. And that same sequence is followed here. From Shani to Soma. This is the only astronomy involved here. After this, there is no more astronomy in the picture. So, for each Hora, there is a Horesha assigned. And I am starting with the Hora number 5. But uh, what the Surya Siddhanta assumes is that there is a first day of creation, which is the beginning of the Mahayuga, Maha Chatur Yuga. The first day, first Hora is assigned not to Shani, but to Surya, Ravi. Because Surya is the most important, Sun is the most important. It sustains the entire uh, human civilization. So, the sun is given precedence here. So, from there, the next Horesha is Shukra, next is Buddha, next is Soma. After that, the entire cycle starts, Shani, Guru, Mangala, Ravi, Shukra, Buddha, Soma, and it keeps repeating for the 24 hours. And then it wraps over here, it wraps over from Shani, Guru, Mangala, Ravi, Shukra, Buddha, then Soma, first hour of the second day. And it keeps going on like this. Here, Shani Guru. Then it wraps around to first hour of the third day is Mangala, Ravi, Shukra, Buddha, Soma. And I have laid this out for seven full days, 24 hours each. Now, the Surya Siddhanta says that the Horesha of the first hour of the first day is designated as the ruler of the entire day. And the ruler of the day, the Sanskrit term which is used, is Vasareshwara or Diva, Diva, Divasadipa. Divasadipa is Divasa Adipati. And Vasareshwara is Vasara Ishwara. So, in this case, Ravi is the ruler of this entire day. Soma is the ruler of the entire second day. Mangala is the ruler of the entire third day. Buddha is the ruler of the entire fourth day. Guru is the ruler of the entire fifth day. Shukra is the ruler of sixth day. And Shani is the ruler of seventh day. So, these are the rulers of the day. This is all Surya Siddhanta says. But we know that these names of the rulers of the day have been taken and reused as Vara. Ravivara, Somavara, Mangalavara, Budavara, Guruvara, Shukravara and Shaniwara. They are used as names for the day. That's what we are doing today with our Panchanga, in our Panchanga. So, this is how the names are defined. <coughs> and you can see there is a sequence here. Very easy to determine. You start with Ravi and then you go 1, 2, 3, Soma. Then you go 1, 2, 3. 3 Mangalavara, <coughs> then you go 1, 2, 3 Budavara, then you go 1, 2, 3 Guruvara, 1, 2, 3 Shukravara, 1, 2, 3 Shanivara, then 1, 2, 3 you are back to Ravivara and the cycle starts all over again. It's as simple as this. No astronomy whatsoever. The only astronomy is the sequence in which the names of the Grahas are listed there. Now, the Surya Siddhanta does not stop here. It also talks about ruler of a month and ruler of a year. What are these two? So, let's take a look. So, I'm going to show you now an entire month. You have already seen this part I showed you just now, the 7 days and 24 hours. That still remains. Now, I added 35 days. And now comes a new definition of a month. You may ask, is this Chandramasa or, or Sauramasa? And the answer is, it's neither. This is a completely new <coughs> month which is being used here. And the definition is, it's simply 30 days. 30 sunrises. You count the sunrises exactly like the modern calendar does. <coughs> you look at uh, the modern calendar says 30, 31, 30, 31, etc. Whereas Surya Siddhanta is using fixed 30 for every month. Now, it goes on to say, the first, the ruler of the first hour of the first day of the month is also designated of the ruler of the entire month. That's why I put this in blue. So, in this case, 
the ruler of the first month is ravi surya the ruler of the second month is mangala that's why i put these two in blue so first of all a new definition of month as a fixed duration of 30 days which is unlike anything in chandramana and sauramana and secondly this idea of ruler of the month is the ruler of the first hour of the first day becomes the ruler of the entire month then comes the idea of ruler of a year which is taken one step forward so let's take a look at that so now i am showing you 12 months and this is a new definition of a year this is neither chandra varsha nor saura varsha this is a completely new structure 12 months make a year exactly like in the modern calendar and i removed the hours and i put the days here 30 days so your vara came here in the horizontal ravi vara soma vara mangala vara buddha vara guru vara shukra vara shani vara and keeps on repeating and here are the seven rulers of the months the first month and then it starts repeating again ravi mangala guru shani soma buddha shukra then again ravi mangala guru shani it keeps on repeating not seven days now seven month cycles this seven month cycle is no longer used this concept of ruler of the month we have completely dropped this we don't use this any longer at all but here also there is a sequence and a very simple sequence here remember this is the order of the planets which i showed you the slowest is shani fastest is soma and this is the order in which they are laid out now the sequence here is you start with ravi so ravi is the ruler of one month and the ruler of the next month will be just go back mangala the ruler of the next month will be guru ruler of the next month will be shani ruler of the next month will be soma ruler of the next month will be buddha ruler of the next month will be shukra and then you are back to the starting point ravi all over again that is the sequence which is being used to determine the ruler of the month I mean that's how it comes. I mean you just lay this out and follow it, and you find the pattern. Ravi Mangala Guru Shani Soma Buddha Shukra. Ravi Mangala Guru Shani Soma Buddha Shukra. Going backwards. Now on top of this, there is one more concept: ruler of an entire year. and who is the ruler of the entire year you be very easy to guess the ruler of the first day of the first month is the ruler of the entire year in this case again ravi is the ruler of this entire year for the second year buddha is the ruler that's why i put it in green color these blue gradations i'm just showing you the seven month cycles where the names of the ruler of the months keep repeating every seven months so this ruler of the year if we take a look here is a cycle of ruler of the year i put the months on the top i put lot of years now 16 years i am showing you and you see it's ravi buddha shani mangala shukra soma guru so there is a pattern here also ravi buddha shani so you start with ravi 1 2 buddha One two Shani, one two Mangala, one two Shukra, one two Soma, one two Guru. Then again one two. We are back to Ravi, the starting point. So very cyclical, very repetitive. Now this is a cycle of seven years, and then the name repeats. The name of the ruler repeats. This concept of ruler of the year is also no longer in use, but. It is there in Surya Siddhanta. This whole system is defined as formulas and working backwards from the formulas I did used. All these new definitions of month, new definition of year, and of course this thing called pura or hours, which I showed you up here, twenty-four hours. So this is how the concept of uh, vara is. 
explained in the Surya Siddhanta. It's not even explained as vara, it's explained as ruler of a day. And there it stops. But in our modern usage, we have taken the ruler of the day and made it day of the week. So, once again, very little astronomy here. This is completely outside the nine manas defined in Surya Siddhanta. Only astronomy is this basic sequence of the orbital period of the planets. So, this is very unlike anything else which we have seen so far in the Surya Siddhanta, but for the sake of completeness, we include what we use very much in Hindu culture today. The week, day of the week, is uh, very actively used by all Hindus today. So, I decided to make a video on this topic also. So, with that, I will close this video. Thank you very much for watching.